guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky and if you're new here then welcome and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Now in today's video we are going to be doing a vintage haul. So I wanted to show you a range of things that I've bought on Vinted over the past year um, and then I'll add in the description box how much they've cost because at the moment I can't really remember. I can remember a few items but I know I got them all at a really good deal. So, without further ado, grab yourself a drink and let's go on with the video. Okay guys, so we've got a bit different lighting today because it is currently still half past seven in the morning so it's quite dark outside, but I wanted to get some content filmed for you. So as I said, we're going to be doing a Vinted haul and I love Vinted, I buy off Vinted, I sell on Vinted, I promote Vinted, not like as a paid partnership, but I just love it that much that I have to tell everyone that I meet. Like, they're like, oh, that outfit's so nice. Even Woody agrees, do you like Vinted? But um, as I was saying, yeah, if someone compliments my outfit, half the time I've got it from Vinted, like my favourite pair of jeans are from Vinted and I save so much money on them. So we're going to get into it, I'm going to show you a range of things that I have bought and I mean a range of things, I've not even just bought clothes from Vinted, I have bought placemats, I have bought board games, I have bought toys for Woody, I have bought shoes, I have bought makeup, perfume, clothes, bikinis, it is endless. So I'm going to pop him down and then I'll start showing you and we'll get into the haul. Okay, so we are going to start off with the slightly boring items, but they are not boring at all. Um, these are just some placemats. Now, when I moved into my house, I needed a lot of items, and obviously it can be quite expensive. So after I got the house, I then started looking at secondhand sites. So I have got so many of my items from friends and family members from Facebook Marketplace. I can't. I think there's only like my curtains and my bed that I bought new, my table, my side tables, my placemats, um, my, what else, my bedside tables, I all got from like Gumtree, Vinted, Facebook Marketplace and I saved so much money um, and once you start doing it you kind of get like a thrill for it if that makes sense. So I got Oh, I'll just see if you film me. Yeah, you're still filming. Um, so I got these placemats now. They are quite just ordinary. They are double-sided, so you have a light grey and a dark grey. And it also came with matching coasters. And I got six of these, and I feel like I got them for like a pound. And when I was looking at getting them from Denelm or Next, they were easily like £20 plus. So I picked these up. I was really happy with these. They do the job. They just sit nice on the table there's a range of different colors styles and um, what I will say is just ask for photos to make sure there's no marks on them because some of them that I looked at did have marks on but then some were brand new and that is the really nice thing about vintage so you can go in and filter by condition so if you know you only want something that is brand new you can filter and tick brand new with tags brand new without tags or there's like very good condition so I got these and again I'll make sure to link all the prices down below just because I have not been kind of prepared and I've not gone through my order history and written down kind of a list of what the prices of everything are so I thought it'd be easy for me to do that in the description instead. So I picked up those. Now I don't have them to show you but I also picked up Cards Against Humanity brand new in the packaging and Articulate just because I thought obviously new house I wanted to have like some games for when friends and family come over and then also they're really good I take them up to my mum's at Christmas and kind of we can all play with them there. Now Cards Against Humanity I think is about like £22 in the shop um, and I'm pretty sure I bought this Cards Against Humanity for around about £9, £6 brand new like completely unopened. Um, and the good thing was it like came super fast as well. You can check your seller's um, reviews. So if there's something and I'm not sure whether to buy it from them or not, I always go onto their reviews and see what other people have said about them. Cause sometimes they can have bad reviews like 
doesn't ship, doesn't respond to messages, so you don't want to buy it and then they never kind of respond to you. Um, but if that does happen, Vinted is really good at kind of mediating it for you. So they'll try and help you like get your money back. And I've had a problem with one dress before and I got my money back straight away. They were really good at sorting it, um, which is really nice. Um, you just have that extra security. And as a seller, they do not take any fees from you like obviously Depop take about like 40% by the time you're done it's just all gone and so you kind of notice that on Vinted people sell things for less as well than they do on Depop just because they're not getting that money taken so that is another bonus also this is not sponsored at all I just really like Vinted I think it's a great way especially in the new year to save some money it's more sustainable if you're having a clear out if you've got dare I say unwanted Christmas gifts. I literally have typed in unwanted gifts on Vinted before and a whole host of things come up. You get jewellery, you get skincare, you get perfumes, you get bags. I've seen a Gucci bag, who doesn't want a Gucci bag? I was not in a position to buy it, but it's on there. So yeah, so it's not sponsored at all. I just really wanted to share it with you because I, over this year and over COVID, that's when I first started. That was before it kind of got hyped up. I sold loads on it, but I never really bought anything on it. Um, so yeah, so I got the Cards Against Humanity and Articulate, both in excellent condition and for a fraction of the price that it would have cost me to buy them new or to buy them on Amazon. Now I have also got, I'll find it. Okay, so I also buy makeup from there, I buy perfumes from there and skincare. So I did buy a SPF from there. I don't actually use that SPF anymore just because it started irritating my skin. That wasn't because I bought it on Vinted, that was just because the product was a lot more like clogging and I didn't actually realise until I got hydrofacial and then we could see all the build up product. So I didn't bother showing you that, but I got that for again, a fraction of the price. I think it was like 50 pounds to buy it new. And I got it for about nine pounds, completely sealed. You could tell they vinted are quite strict about not letting you sell used items. Um, and I also got this Laura Mercier setting powder. Now, if you are a makeup girly, you will obviously know about this setting powder. And I used to use the Bare Minerals one, but that ran out. And I really didn't have the money to buy a brand new setting powder because they can get quite expensive. And I think this one alone can be like 45 or 39 pounds. Um, and this is like a full size translucent setting powder. There were some people selling gift sets of it. There were some people selling it with the little pad so you can do it. But I just got this one um, and it is just the translucent loose setting powder. It's not the glow one or anything. And all the photos on the um, kind of upload showed that it still had the protective like tag like covering on the inside and it came in its new box and I think I probably got this for £15 so I got it for half off um, which you can never find in the sales anywhere I've never seen it that cheap on Look Fantastic on Boots if you have correct me if I'm wrong and comment down below um, but I just wanted to show you that you can get this as well and when you can message the buyer, so I was like, can you just show me this if they didn't have like an exact photo that I wanted. Some of them like can be a bit like they don't want to show you, especially if it's clothing um, and you ask to see it on, they might not want to do that, which I understand because sometimes you're selling it because it doesn't fit you anymore, it's all good on you. But generally with makeup and perfumes, they're more than happy to send photos. So I wanted to show you this um, and again, I think it was £15, but I'll make sure to link everything down below. And I'm not going to show you everything that I have bought on Vinted, just because we would be here for days, but I just wanted to show you and talk to you about a few different things, so you can understand like the range of stuff that is on there. Now, I have also bought gifts for people on there before, so I have bought a set of Swarovski earrings, again, brand new in the packaging. I think I got them for about £25, when new they would have been like £88. I've got a pair of little um, toddler Timberland boots because I would not ever spend really full price on like expensive shoes for toddlers or children like babies because they grow so fast 
and I found these on Vinted with the box, with the wrapping. You could tell that she even said to me that they'd been worn twice, but he was obviously in the pram when he was wearing them. So there was no marks on them at all, and I got them so much cheaper. Um, and then I have also got like a little picnic gift hamper on there before as well. Again, really cheap, it was really lovely. And then for Christmas, we could like fill it with all different foods and bits just for like uh, my part of my family to take off their little one and take them on like a little picnic. So that was also really nice that we found on there. Now, my prized possession that I've bought on Vinted are these. Now, these were a bit of a splurge still, but if you know, I mean, they have been worn now, so they are not looking brand new. But when I got these, these were brand new. In the box, with the dust bags, with the receipts, with the guarantee from Louboutin. And these were meant to be, I think, £688, £685, um, brand new from the Louboutin website. They are the Soke suede black heels. And I'm pretty sure that I got these for £315. So again, I saved a lot of money on these. They came with all the spare heels and everything. And the thing is, I had actually saved up to buy myself a pair. But it was just by chance that I thought, oh, I'll have a look on Vinted to see if they have any. See if they have the new in my size. And they had so many. They've got Jimmy Choo, they have Louboutin, they've got Valentino, they've got Michael Kors. They've got literally so many different high-end brands on there and you can buy them really worn or you can buy them brand new. With shoes, I would always personally buy them brand new. That's just a preference. But I could see that they had the tags and they've now got a new feature. So the sellers have to put on certain types of verification when it comes to high-end items. And that's again, just to protect you as a buyer. And it is quite a, an in-depth process because um, I sell on Vinted, so I, ha I know about some of this. But yeah, so I'm so happy with this purchase. Again, I pretty much saved like 50% off on them. You would never find these in the sale. They are kind of like a staple Louboutin. So they probably never get discounted like, like the ranges that come out. And also, if my voice keeps going, I apologize. It is early in the morning. I've got my Barocca in here, so I'm good to go. So I just wanted to show you these, as you can see like the heels are quite worn now because I've worn them quite a few times, but I just wanted to show you and obviously they came with all the box and everything, but this is just what an example of one of the higher end items you can get for a really discounted price. So if you're in a position like me where you've saved up to buy something new, obviously it can be really nice to go for the whole experience and go into the shop, have that kind of experience in the shop with them serving you and buying it. But if you're really not that fussed about that and you want to save that money, you could end up getting a really good deal. I have seen LV bags, I've seen Gucci bags, I have seen Hermes bags, actually there was two Hermes Birkin bags on there, which I just, it completely baffled me. But yeah, so definitely have a look because you could end up saving yourself a lot of money, especially if you've already saved up that money, then you've just got a nice little extra pot to put back into savings or buy yourself something else as well. So I wanted to show you those. And then also just with on about buying something else, if you buy a few things from the same uh, seller, they often do bundle discounts. So you can buy a few different things and they'll reduce it by like 5%, 10%, 15%. And obviously you can also give them offers as well. So an example of something that I bought in a bundle was this bikini. Now this was brand new with tags. I have obviously worn it since. And this was just from River Island. And this is actually my favorite bikini. I actually love the style of it and I'm really sad that I can't buy it in the shop anymore. It's just this lovely white and red and blue kind of set. So I picked that up and then I also picked it up. I don't think I've got, no, I've not got the tops here to show you, but I also picked it up with a three pack set of new look strappy vest tops. And um, these were just white, navy and like a blush pink. I just picked them up as like summer staples and I got the three tops and this bikini for I think six pounds, which this bikini alone would have been, I think at least 20 pounds from River Island. 
and then the three pack of tops from New Look. But yeah, so I was really happy with that. And then obviously I got the discount on top of them as well um, because I bought them as a bundle from the seller. So I just wanted to show you that as well. And obviously you can ask to see with all the hygiene strips still in place. Um, so you can be like sure that you're gonna get a good deal. Generally people sell bikinis quite cheap on that anyway. They also have, I bought a black one, which was a bow avenue bikini. Now I really like the top, but the bottoms are a bit big, but that was my bad just because it's a bit of guesswork sometimes on vintage. You can kind of look at the sizing chart on the brand. So I did have a look on Bow Avenue website to see their sizing chart and I thought it would fit, but it was just a bit big on the bottom. So sometimes you can ask to sell things back to the seller. So sometimes um, if I'm not sure if they're gonna fit like these jeans that I bought, which I'll show you next, I did just message her beforehand and say, if they don't fit, can I send them back to you and I'll cover the shipping? And sometimes they'll say yes, but sometimes they don't want the hassle, which is completely fine. Um, so I got these jeans and just undo the leg because I wore them yesterday. So I was looking for a nice pair of comfy jeans. After COVID, I don't think I've worn skinny jeans at all. And I found these, these are some Wrangler dream, uh, dreams, they are a dream, they're my dream, my dream pair of jeans. But these are Wrangler and I never really heard of this jean brand before but I think it is quite popular. And as you can see they are just some kind of like wide legged trousers um, or jeans. Their exact ones are the Wrangler Barrel High Rise. And I got these, they're meant to be £99 on the website. I paid £15 for these and honestly, they were like brand new. I don't think she'd ever worn them. Since I've worn them, they started wearing here because they are quite long, but I think that just adds to the effect of them. And they are so comfortable. I am so happy I bought these jeans. But again, just another example of what you can find and a really good saving that you can make. Moving along. Oh, this was one of the best tops from New Look that I got in the bundle with the bikini. As you can tell, it's just a very like basic top. So I just got a white one, a navy and a pink one. It's a bit creased because again, I wore that yesterday with my jeans. As you can tell, I like to wear my items that I buy. I did want to show you a um, top that I bought for my Christmas party for work. It was like this lovely top shop design and it was a halter neck and it had like a little cut out here and it was like an emerald green and sparkly and I bought that for two pounds. It was like new and it was really good. I got loads of compliments on it, but I can't find it. It might be in the wash. But I did also get this Zara knit jumper. It's got this lovely cut out section here. It is really thick. And I think I got this for about 10 pounds. So generally the Zara items on Vinted are a bit more expensive because people know there is the demand for them. But there are so many Zara items on Vinted. Literally you type in Zara and they've got stuff from a while ago. They've got all the brand new stuff in. It is full of items from Zara. So I'm really happy with this jumper. It's like balloon sleeves. It's very comfortable. Um, and so I just was kind of on a bit of a Zara hype at one point on Vinted. I also got this, everything's inside out. I also got this little Zara crop top. It's like a little knitted crop. It's a really flattering style for me personally. So I picked this up and then I also got it in pink as well. They have it in loads of colours, which I'm quite happy about because once you find a style that you like, if you can get it in multiple colours, that's really nice. So I picked this up, I, I think I got this for about three pounds. And I think on the Zara website, it's probably, I don't think it's on there anymore, but when I did some research, I think it's about like 15 pounds maybe, because it is a really thick quality crop top. So again, this was a really good fit. I was unsure whether it was gonna be see-through, so the buyer, um, no, the seller tried it on and sent photos, which was really good, really good communication. So I picked that up. And then just to move on to a few of the final pieces, just again to show you, I got these lovely, like linen, they're a bit creased, shorts from Stradivarius. Um, they've got pockets in, they've got a lovely waistband, 
and these still had the tags on. They were brand new and I think I bought them for about £12 and I think on the website they are like in the 20s so I didn't save that much on them but to say that they were brand new still had all the tags I would definitely recommend having a look on Vinted. If you see something that you like in the store have a look on Vinted see if it's on there because then you might save some money you're helping with kind of clothes waste and sustainability and then it's, it's just kind of that transaction you just feel good about it okay and then <coughs> oh my god my voice the final piece that I wanted to show you, which you've probably seen me wear in some of my really early YouTube videos, are these lovely uh, Lucian Yak Corduroy Dungarees. Now, these, I think I paid maybe £30 for these, but on the website, I'm pretty sure there's something along the lines of like 69. And again, these were pretty much brand new. There are no issues with them, no marks, no signs of wear. And I just wanted a pair that was really nice and comfy for me to do my crafting in. And I could not be happier. These were actually perfect. We had a wear at pink day at work um, for breast cancer awareness. And I wore these and these were just fantastic. I think I've actually got something in my pocket. Oh, my driving license. I have lost that um, and now I've found it. So that is fantastic. But yeah, so I wanted to show you these as well because there are such a range of brands on Vinted. I hope that I've shown you just kind of a few things that I've picked up and showed you a range from like makeup to homeware to pets items. I'm not showing you that, but I have picked some up for Woody. They literally sell everything. If you did need some crafting supplies, you can get crafting packs on Vinted. There are stickers, there are craft paper. There is so many different things on there. Definitely go check it out. And if you are interested, I will leave my Vinted kind of bio in the description box below. Sorry about that, I've just had to <laughs> sort Woody out. Um, but that kind of concludes today's video guys. So I hope you found this really interesting. It's a bit different to like my crafting videos, but I just wanted to show you that obviously it, with my crafting videos, we're always trying to do things on a budget, do it, do it like as a DIY. And this has really helped me save some money for the different pieces of clothing that I've wanted throughout the year. So if you have liked this video guys, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button also. And while you're down there, comment the shopping bag emoji if you've made it to this part of the video. I hope you've really enjoyed it guys and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, bye!